Over. There are few bigger days on the football calendar than Champions League final day. Fans are beginning to pour into the stadium and the tension is palpable. It's Manchester United, they take on Real Madrid and it's coming up next on EA TV. Well, there's nothing quite like this occasion. Welcome to the UEFA Champions League final. The best two teams in Europe this season preparing to go head-to-head -head for the crowd. This is Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined as always on these big occasions by Stuart Robson. It's Manchester United facing Real Madrid. Well, Derek, you just wonder what those players are thinking right now. Some will be nervous, some will be excited, and some may be anxious. But once that whistle blows, we're going to be in for an absolute classic here. chosen this particular shape. David De Gea begins in goal. Casemiro plays alongside Christian Eriksen in the centre of midfield. And the focal point in attack today, Marcus Rashford. And the starting players for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. David Alaba plays with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. Luka Modric plays with Toni Kroos in the centre of midfield. And the lead striker today is Karim Benzema. And now the Champions League final commences. Vinicius Junior. Mendy. Here's Modric. Look at Modric. And a goal! As Real Madrid strike first in the final. And just listen to their fans. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Tony Kors is with Vinicius Junior. Will he play it in? Look at Modric. Can he finish? Really important tackle. Bruno Fernandes. This is Varan. Casemiro. Just cutting off the supply. Chouameni. This is Kroos. Vinicius Junior. Modric. Karim Benzema. Alert defending. Eriksen. Bruno Fernandes. Rashford.
on to Sancho. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Modric. Carvajal. And can they prize them open now? And just like that, they don't have the ball anymore. Anthony. Now with Rashford. Super tackle, and they've won possession. Ericsson. Bruno Fernandes has it. More than decent, this, from United. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Mendy. So on the cusp of the half-time interval and Real Madrid with a narrow lead. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen from them in this half? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. Is this the moment? And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. So back on their way with the lead standing at 2-0. Anthony. No space for them here. Casemiro. Now Casemiro. Rashford. And it goes to reduce the deficit. Still very much alive and kicking. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace, the keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Back in action then, and you sense United have the momentum at the moment. Vinicius Jr. Vinicius. Course. Here's Modric. And still looking for space. Oh, the referee points to the spot. Penalty. A chance to extend the lead. The keeper going in the right direction and saving it. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Into the second half then, in this battle for Champions League glory. Ericsson. On to Sancho. Shaw. On to Ericsson.
Return to Sancho. Ericsson. Can they square the game? Well, I think you could call big chance. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. And time for the change now. And over from Ericsson. A decisive clearance it was. Ericsson. Onto Ronaldo. Brilliantly blocked. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. Well, those stats show us that Real Madrid haven't had that much of the ball, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. Yes, and maybe another break brewing here. Look at Modric. It might be. Sensational goalkeeping from David De Gea. Diogo Dallo. Anthony. Bruno Fernandes. Anthony. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. He must finish! Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, it's lovely technique, as you can see. He just wraps his foot around the ball and bends it beyond the keeper. That's a good goal. Not many sides would have the mental strength to bounce back from adversity like this team. Rodrigo. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Jaden Sancho. Clean challenge. Rudiger. Now with Benzema. Benzema. Modric must take the lead here. And struggling to get the shot off. And an astute piece of defending. Diogo Dallo. Bruno Fernandes has it. Still level here, but Manchester United making a push near the end. No, high quality defending. Tony Kors. Benzema. Kors. Effective challenge. Just five minutes remaining. Anthony. Oh, surely. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Federico Valverde. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Level pegging, but can they change that? Well, disappointing end to the move. 
Ronaldo. Christian Eriksen now. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is not over. And two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. Well, back underway here, and it's quite simple. Both teams must steal themselves for 30 extra minutes. Well, now here's Aiden Azar. Well, he's given us away. Diogo Dallo. Anthony. Here's Ronaldo. Jaden Sancho. A super tackle, and they've won possession. And showing fine vision. Just failing to hit the target with his pass, and it'll be a throw in. Well, possibilities in the centre. Opportunity! Well, it really wasn't a great effort, was it? Diogo Dallo. Anthony. Fred with it. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Oh, managing to beat him. And now here's Aiden Azar. And still looking to get the shot away. And the first period of extra time comes to it. Well, the second period of extra time commences. What drama do we have in store for us? Well, the counter chance looks very real. But he stopped them just when they looked menacing. Got McTominay. Diogo Dallo on the ball. It's with McTominay. Still pushing for a winner. Sancho. And still trying to get the shot off. Really high class goalkeeping from Courtois. Time is fast running out. Five minutes left in the second period of extra time here. Tony Kors. Kamavinga. That's eyes for goal. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. A well taken Real Madrid corner could be so important at this stage. Short one here. Alaba. Well, a vital interception. After 120 minutes, they cannot be. And so the penalty shootout about to commence. And as a so lethal in front of goal. His turn to try to convert from the spot. And there it is, perfectly executed. Oh, he saved it! And it's gone in. Mental preparation is such a big part of this. And he's taken the low road, beautifully done. And the penalty converts it here. Can he get the better of the keeper? He scored in the bottom corner. 
and he finds the net. He could hardly miss. It won't be lost on him what's at stake here. He knows he's got to score. Job done from the spot. It all falls on his shoulders. If he scores, they win. Oh, a superb save. He's gambled on direction and won. And now he knows what's on the line. If he scores, they win. Oh, that's it! The final act in the drama. One team jubilant, the other distraught. Well, what an end into a very good tournament. And I think they fully deserve to win it. Maybe not in this manner, though, but it was great entertainment. It certainly was, and they're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment for everyone involved with the club, but for their opponents, it's a case of trying to forget and move on as quickly as possible. Well, I think we should give them some credit too. They played their part in what was an excellent contest. Some of their football was brilliant. Yes, fair play, Stuart. The party in full swing now. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Real Madrid. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion.